In this video we'll show you how we can use Partmaster CAD to create uh, a basic shape. So I've started the CAD system from the desktop and what I'll do first is I'll open an existing drawing to show you the geometry that we're going to create. So from the main menu I choose open existing drawing and this is the uh, drawing that we're going to recreate. What I'll do is I'll draw lines which pass through the center point and then we'll create lines which are parallel to them and then we'll produce the fillets and the chamfers. So I'll start a blank drawing. So from the top toolbar I go new and click the down arrow next to it and say blank drawing. So we've now got a blank sheet of paper the datum or the drawing origin is shown in the center of the paper but we can move the datum to any place we like by using the icon from the toolbar here we can specify a an exact position for the datum or we can specify a new datum just by positioning the mouse so we can move the datum point to wherever we want it to be I'll move it back to the center so what I'll do first of all is I'll draw two lines going through that center position and I'll use those to create lines parallel to it. So to draw a line I use the top toolbar here and the option I want is line. When I choose something from the uh, operations toolbar here uh, an options toolbar is displayed down the left hand side of the screen. So these are the different ways we've got of drawing a line. If I was drawing a circle then we would have the different methods of drawing a circle. So we choose line and then we choose the operation that we want. So in this case I'm going to draw a line at an angle. What that does is it obeys the current angle, the default is zero degrees, and it draws a line basically wherever the cursor happens to be. But I want to snap the line onto that datum position. So to do that, I use the bottom toolbar here, which are my snap modes, and I switch on near snap. So when I do that, as I move the cursor into the drawing area, then the only thing it can find is the datum position, so it locks onto that. So to accept that line, I click, and that draws the line. From the options toolbar here, the last entry is always the properties page. So if I choose properties, now I can set up the angle of the line. So now I'm going to draw a line at 90 degrees. Now, the way that uh, Partmaster CAD works is that I stay in drawing a line mode until I change my mode to something else. So I'll keep in line mode, and what I want to do is just change my option, which is to draw a line parallel to an existing one. So I'll do the vertical ones first. So I click on that line, I type in the distance and then the direction. In this case it will be to the left. Now I do that again, this time to the right. And if I want to draw a line referenced to that outside line, I use that as my baseline, type in the distance and go to the left. So that's done the vertical lines, now we'll do the horizontal ones. 50 below, 50 above, and 25 above. So that's got my basic uh, construction lines on. Now I'm going to put on the fillets. So to do that, I choose from the toolbar at the top here, the fillet command. And then from the options toolbar here, I choose the second option down, which is to clip items. This means that when the operation has been completed, the lines which are parts of the lines which are no longer needed are clipped back. We also have another option here which is called Auto. If I switch that on, then as I move the cursor into the drawing area, the system will automatically show me where it's possible to fit a fillet. I go to Properties and set the size. So as I move the cursor around, you can see how it's locking on and showing me where it's possible to fit a fillet. So I choose the position where I want the fillet to be drawn, and because the clip option is on, the parts of the lines which are no longer needed are removed. So now I do the same thing using the chamfer command. 
the option I want is clip items auto is already switched on and I want to set my chamfer value the chamfer can have any angle it doesn't have to be 45 degrees so that's created the chamfer now I need to do something where these two lines intersect so to do that I use the intersect command and again the option I want is to clip the items so as I'm moving my cursor around it's highlighting the intersection points but what it's also doing is those two little traces that you can see moving along the lines are showing me the parts of the lines that will be kept when the operation has been completed so if I move the cursor to one of these other positions you can see that different parts of the lines will be kept but these are the lines I want to keep so that's created the basic drawing uh, in subsequent videos we'll show you how we can put some dimensions on here and then transfer this through into the CAM system.